you know, I always felt like that uh, first part of my life was building a career and I felt like the second part of my life has been about purpose and trying to, you know, give back. I've known Rick for a really long time and I always think about how I feel after I leave a conversation with Rick, whether it's on the phone or in person. And he's the type of person that you always leave with a smile. And he just, he has care for people. It doesn't matter who they are, where they're coming from in life, or what challenges or mistakes they've made. Everybody is a good person to him. And that's what makes you feel good. And that's the kind of environment he's created. And even making Higher Up Texas to not be defined by your circumstances, but by your choices. And with that respect coming top down, how could you not cultivate a community like that? Rick taught me a lot about what I needed to do with my nonprofit organization. He taught me a lot of business skills. We sat down and we decided to, to do the golf tournament. I, I, I posed the idea that we might raise 60,000 the first year. And so we raised 124,000, I think the first year, something like that. So there was always a bigger goal. And uh, yeah, I think it's grown, I don't know what, 250 now, something like that, yeah, every year. So that's, that was, that's a big goal. He is so approachable and so fun to be around that his smile and laugh are very infectious, that you want to be around him. People gravitate around him. That's why he's so busy, because everybody wants to get to know him and be a part of his life, because he's just that good of a person wholeheartedly. Rick's a very giving guy. He's uh, very intelligent. Uh, I've known Rick as a, also as a customer and um, a, as a counselor, uh, as a consultant. He's helped me with a lot of uh, my business over the years and um, very versatile uh, and loves to give back, especially uh, programs involving kids. He's a big inspiration to me, but like I know that like it takes a lot of guts just to be, have confidence in a bunch of high school students from a low income school. I think one of the things that Rick does when he has spoken to kids is he has given them hope because Rick has a background where, where uh, he, was, he was struggling very similar to the, the uh, at-risk kids that we work with through communities and schools and now through Higher Up. I think Rick gives them hope that they can have a wonderful, abundant life. Well, I talk, we talk about you know, what you want on your gravestone all the time and it's changed over the year. But you know, essentially I think what I've decided is I'd really like it to be on my gravestone. He was a good man. Because I think if you're a good man, if people say that about you, that's about all you can hope for. It sort of encapsulates all the good that you tried to do for people and everything. Because nobody remembers much about who you are. What they remember is how much you cared for them over your life. And if you demonstrated some sort of care or affection or feeling toward them, they remember that. Uh, and, you know, so I think if you're a good man, you're a good man, right? Rick has shown such great leadership in this community. I know, I knew him through his work with Lunar Rendezvous. He has helped them. He has helped communities and schools Bay Area. And then he went so far as to form his own new nonprofit organization, Higher Up, which is helping kids um, have a pipeline from high school through college and into a, a, a wonderful career. He has really shown what it is to put your time, your talent, and your money into a community. Higher Up Texas, which works in the Dickinson School District, what we're trying to do is to teach these seniors um, some things that they don't get in high school, uh, financial literacy, critical thinking skills, core values, etiquette, uh, help them to build confidence and self-advocate for themselves, and to basically uh, learn how to adult. I'd definitely be lost without Higher Up, way more lost with adulthood because they really do they're like mentors and role models. Like I really want to follow their example. Like they've taught me like what not to do when you leave high school, like what mistakes to not follow. So they've definitely been like guidance for me. I just really think that, you know, a, a, a local guy who lives and has invested himself in the community and who is, uh, uh, embodies the Rotary philosophy of service above self uh, really is the best pick for this first award, this inaugural award. Our guy, he did it, he made it, he's, here he is. He's being honored for something he's done and put so much of his life and energy into that I can't think of anybody more deserving of this inaugural award.